Hello and welcome back to the Ducats Copy TV studio. My name is Romas, I'm from Forex Peace Army and today we have Jar Davis in the studio who is a funds manager and professional Forex trader. Jar, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do and how you came up to this? Yeah, well as you say, I'm a professional uh, Forex fund trader. So what we do is we have uh, an investment company in London and we offer clients managed accounts um, and trade on their behalf. That journey is an interesting one, particularly for retail traders, because I was a retail trader myself. So I kind of made that same journey, self-taught, taught myself the techniques that I use now uh, to trade for clients. Um, so I understand uh, kind of the challenges of getting to that point. And I also now train Forex traders as well, retail traders. I'm one of the only regulated uh, Forex fund managers to actually share their techniques um, and help retail traders kind of achieve the same success. Interesting, Jared. And just when we were preparing for this interview, you told me that Forex trading is actually easy. <laughs> and that's so controversial for me because uh, I know that over 95% of people fail in trading Forex and you say it's easy. So how come? Yeah, it is a controversial thing to say. I can understand that. Uh, but I would say it's any like, like any other profession. Okay, so um, if you train properly, if you train and learn the techniques that you need to do any profession, then the job eventually over time with experience becomes kind of a process that you do day in, day out. And therefore you could say, if someone's been doing something professionally for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, the job really becomes much easier. It's very simple. Uh, trading's exactly the same. And I think the reason so many people find it so hard, particularly on a retail level, um, is just purely because they haven't had the correct training. They don't really, they're not applying uh, the correct methods in the correct way um, to ever reach that point where they can say that trading is simple or easy. And what are the correct methods then? Well, I think uh, particularly in the retail world, there's uh, kind of a big focus on technical analysis. Um, most courses, most training tends to evolve around that. And I think that's probably one of the major, I'd say that's the, probably the biggest reason why most retail traders don't make money. Um, if you're a retail trader and you're focused on a, on a price chart and you're trying to use just that price chart to, to figure out which way the currencies are going to move, you're kind of doomed to failure, really. Um, so I think that's the biggest reason, kind of in incorrect teaching methods or incorrect training or just focus on the wrong things. Maybe then you could give a sample how you watch the markets, how you interrupt them. Maybe you can describe some currencies right now with the situation. So, for example, uh, for me and for every other trick, because obviously I work with other traders as well in the city, not one trader that I know uses technical analysis as their main tool. What we're looking for is the fundamentals. Um, and we're looking for very specific fundamentals because those are the things that are driving the currencies. So for a very simplified example, if a country raises interest rates, the value of that currency will go up. It's quite, it is quite a simple process. And once you get the confidence to trade in that manner and follow these fundamentals as they play out, uh, trading becomes much simpler. So for example, uh, recently a trade that we're playing just right now uh, on the Australian dollar, uh, in February, the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia, which is a key component of fundamentals, to, ki to simplify the process, you simply need to look at what the central bank are focused on themselves. So you don't need to you know, find all the complicated fundamental analysis yourself. All you need to do is look at what the central bank are looking at, and that will, tell you the, that will give you the clues as to where the currency will go next. So for example, the Reserve Bank of Australia, uh, at the beginning of February, started their focus on a high inflation. Okay? And very basic trading concept, if you need to cut inflation, you need to raise interest rates. And as we've already looked at, if interest rates are going up, the value of the currency will go up. So because the RBA started focusing on inflation, the market kind of looked at that and thought, well, you know, if they're going to do that, they're going to have to look at eventually raising rates. Therefore, the Aussie dollar is going to go up in value, and obviously traders want to get in on that early, um, which of course has caused the Australian dollar to, to rally since the beginning of February. Now, those moves, they're not random. We knew they were happening, and we've been trading the Aussie dollar to the long side ever since it was down at 89.90, just purely because of the fundamental situation coming from the Reserve Bank of Australia. So, are you saying that the Aussie dollar is continuing to rally from now on? Yeah, we think it's going to get back up to the recent highs of 97, 0 0.97 against the US dollar. Um, but it should rally against pretty much most of the ma other major currencies as well, just purely off the back of that interest rate speculation. Interesting. Could you perhaps give us another sample from some different currency? 
just to, to show the idea how you see the market? Of course. Um, for example, another, another popular currency we're looking at at the moment is the Canadian dollar. Uh, we're looking to sell that. Uh, and again, that's just purely focused on the BOC, the Bank of Canada. Uh, their central bank is focused on inflation, but this time their inflation is low. So they're trying to kind of stimulate uh, business investment and inflation, uh, get inflation up. And of course, that's a, a dovish bias, which means that it's kind of they're tilting towards maybe cutting interest rates, which of course has the opposite effect of devaluing the currency. So as long as that focus remains on that, and as long as their policy statements are, are talking about uh, the weakening the Canadian dollar, again, the Canadian dollar is something we'll be looking to sell, and we have been selling it uh, you know, for the last three or four months uh, and making our profits from that in, in that way. So the process is exactly the same. Once you understand the process, you know, I do stand by the comment that trading the Forex markets can be uh, relatively easy. Could you perhaps then summarize and give uh, one piece of advice which traders could take right away and start using it to, to get more into fundamentals rating as you are? Yeah, I definitely. I think um, as a starting point, just follow the news. So, tr you know, s there's plenty of online resources, free online resources that give, you know, FX news. And, and focus on following these news sources. And what you're looking for is you're looking for what the central bank of each country is focused on themselves. And then you can figure out, you know, as they tackle that, how that will impact the currency prices. And so practice that, just look at the news feeds, f try and find out which each you know, central bank is looking at, then figure out how that's expected to move the markets, and then just watch the currency prices. And you know, that will give you the confidence then to see that this is what's driving the markets, and then eventually you can start placing trades um, and you'll gain experience and, and things will become much simpler from that. All right, so to make sure I understood correctly, basically you watch what the central bank is saying about the currency, yeah. which indicators where you can focus at and you watch the same thing? Exactly, yeah. And then you just focus on exactly the same thing and trade away. That sounds easy. <laughs> 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 All right, Jared, thank you very much for coming here and sharing your views. And traders, this was Jared Davis, uh, funds manager, professional trader and forex mentor. Thank you. <laughs>